Hi everyone and welcome to today's morning report with me, Richard Perry, Market Analyst at Hantech Markets uh, for Monday the 24th of February. Um, we've had a, a fairly muted start to Monday morning. Um, there was, uh, in Asian trading overnight, there was pretty disappointing um, moves on the uh, Asian markets with the uh, the Nikkei closing uh, just slightly lower. That came on the back of um, a stronger yen that came overnight. Um, Risk appetite was fairly muted um, with a bit of Chinese house pricing data that came in uh, showing a dip in house prices in China. Um, and also that after the uh, Wall Street close on Friday was fairly muted as well. So not a huge amount to go on overnight. So into the uh, European trading hours, the, uh, the markets are fairly quiet initially. Uh, risk appetite is slightly improving um, in the last few minutes on the back of this uh, German EFO business climate data that came in very slightly ahead of expectations at 108.3, um, but uh, not a huge move forward as yet. Um, the euro and sterling are both slightly higher against the dollar this morning. Um, but uh, not not huge moves that we've seen quite yet. And to be honest, throughout the day, there's not going to be too much. And you've got um, the uh, European, sorry, the Eurozone uh, inflation data um, that uh, is, could have an impact on this uh, on this market. But uh, it's unlikely to do a great deal um, today, as uh, there's not too much more data out this afternoon. So um, we'll wait until it could be a fairly muted session generally then um, in in light of the fact that we've got um, a few bits of data out towards the end of the week that tie up February before we've got these huge PMIs next week so uh, it could be a fairly uh, a fairly uninspired session perhaps at the moment um, the uh, the chart of the day that I'm looking at today is um, I'm going to be focusing on the DAX. Now we had last week um, a bearish key one day reversal on the S and P 500, and and I think that sort of set the tone really for the uh, for the back end of the week on these stock markets. Um, the DAX has underperformed um, both the CAC and the FTSE since then, and so we've seen this. Um, that was the bounce that we saw on Thursday, but you've seen still this. Um, this legacy of that move, I think, on the S&P 500, which is impacted on the DAX. There's been no no move above that, those highs that we saw at the beginning of last week um, yet. And um, I still think this, um, this chart needs to break back above those highs before it can, um, before it, the, before the bulls can consider themselves back in control. And uh, the question is, is that going to happen? Now, on the intraday chart, um, you've seen a move slightly higher on the back of the German EFO, but again, no real conviction behind that. And uh, again, you've seen these highs in place uh, on the DAX 9690 and 9696. Um, are the two key levels there and you're not really seeing a great move back towards that as yet. Um, the uh, MACD lines are fairly fairly uninspired. Um, the stochastics are arguably showing signs of rolling over but not too bad. The RSI would be the only one that I'm say, I, I would say would be a positive momentum indicator here so that uh, continues to push higher but I, I don't think that there's a great deal to suggest that there's going to be an imminent breakout but um, we'll wait and see on this one so I think um, you could arguably um, be using this as an opportunity to take a bit of profits on this on, on this recent rebound because um, the moves at the moment I think are relying on a bit of um, bit of news flow out this week and uh, at the moment it's uh, it, it doesn't look like it's going to be too much of an eventful week so um, I'd be careful of this uh, this DAX run higher certainly if it does fall over I think um, you could see a bit of a correction set in on it so just be very careful on that anyway I wish you good luck with your trading on the DAX and um, whatever you're trading this week and I'll speak to you later thank you